Hey everyone, my name is Kenny and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Vietnamese food mukbang. The last time that we were here, there are a couple new subscribers, so hi, welcome. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe this video if you like Vietnamese food. And make sure to turn on the bell notifications when you click subscribe. So let's get started. So what I ordered today is one banh mi dak biếc and then gom sung bi cha and a pho dak biếc. So let's see how much of this I can finish. I'm gonna try the banh mi first. What I like about this is that the French baguette is actually kind of crispy. But the whole flavor profile, I feel like they missed it. I see a lot of meat. Jay y'all. Some pate pickled daikon and carrot, jalapeno, cilantro, and onion. But I definitely have better. If you live in Texas, this doesn't compare to Texas at all. How many of my subscribers like Vietnamese food? So if you couldn't tell, I'm actually Vietnamese. Big spoon. But growing up, I didn't really like eating pho a lot. So this is actually the rice dish that I would my parents will order for me. Mmm, some of the meat, rice, and egg. So I actually really like to watch other people eat food, but in real life, I don't like the sound of other people eating, but for some reason, it's so relaxing on video. And if you guys, you guys probably are, subscribe to Honey Eats. 
Who do you think has a bigger bite, me or Honey? And honey, if you're actually watching, hi. Is my spoon bigger than your honey spoon? It might not look like it, but what I ordered was actually three entrees, but no judgment, right? Comment down below and let me know what's your favorite Vietnamese dish. And if you never had Vietnamese food, comment down below and let me know what your favorite dish is. If you haven't watched my other videos, I think my favorite dish of all time would have to be sushi. Do you consider that a dish? So when people usually look at me, or like when I've gotten to know people, they're really surprised when I tell them I can speak Vietnamese, Spanish, and English. People usually assume that I'm very Americanized, and that I only know English. Am I the only person <clears throat> that feels kind of nervous when they talk to other people of their native language that are not outside of their parents? I mean, that are outside of their parents? It's not that I'm embarrassed about speaking Vietnamese. I'm just embarrassed I'm gonna say it incorrectly. Buff, but I was saying that I'm, I'm embarrassed to speak Vietnamese with certain people because I don't want to say things incorrectly. So when ordering today, I was kind of contemplating if I should order in Vietnamese.
But every time I tried, the person would respond back to me in English. But then, he would randomly switch back to Vietnamese, and so would I, but then he would respond in English. So at that point, what I did was just order in English, but said the names of the food in Vietnamese. Do any of you do that? Mm. That was so good I finished it first. If you're still watching, comment down below and let me know what languages you speak. If you respond in Spanish, I can write you back in Spanish. But if you write in Vietnamese, I'm SOL. Because I can honestly recognize words that deal with food. Or like easy stuff, you know? But I can't usually read or write in Vietnamese. Although my parents did put me through Sunday school. That was the first time I actually failed a class. The bread is really dry. Do you see how big this bowl is? This is how big my head is. From the bottom of the table. And so it meets me right here at my eyebrows. I'm really excited to actually taste this. Mmm.
If you guys eat pho, what kind of pho do you order? I know when someone's truly Vietnamese when they order a pho duck base. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite, favorite part. My mom, my mom would cut up so much of this and we would just literally just chill on it. I'm pretty sure that was a tendon. I love the freshness of the herbs in there. It's so hard to grab. Cause there's so much space in between the bowl. This is so good. But honestly, nothing tastes better than my mom's. If you know me in real life, and you've met my parents, that sound I just made is literally how my dad eats crawfish. So like I was saying, the way that I was slurping is literally how my dad eats crawfish. And that's when you know when the crawfish is real good. Is when you hear like 30 straight minutes of that. Ooh. I'm not a big crawfish person though.
I'm sorry my head gets cut off. That's like the only way I can eat this. So I was going through the comments and I saw that Kenna said that I should eat black bean noodles. I'm sorry that these aren't black bean noodles, but at least there's some kind of noodle. Because when I try to get black bean noodles, the Korean restaurants around me either don't sell it, they got bad reviews, or the one that was recommended actually closed down. I'm sorry, Canada's world. I will try to get judging young. Judging young? And dumplings in a future video. But right now, I can't. And I feel like if I try to make it, it wouldn't be the same. What I can do though, is ask one of my Korean queens, Jian or Binna, for a recipe. And maybe I'll be able to make it Korean style. So this broth actually isn't that great. But you know, you just get so thirsty after eating so much rice and bread. And usually if I ever use the jalapenos in my broth, I just mainly use it for the spice. I don't really eat them. I've had enough in the bunny. All right, everyone. So I think that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, again, comment, like, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know that whenever my videos upload, you get a notification. All right, see you next time.